afternoon when a neighbor reported sounds of screaming. Sheriff Pat Eliason said that when the officers arrived, they found Lawrence Scully dead. Some deputies went to check on that, and in the meantime, the uh, the person who claimed to to do the the assaulting uh, came into our law enforcement center and turned himself in. That man was 27 year old Levi Axel. Authorities said that Axel, who was covered in blood and in a frenzy, claimed to hit Scully on the head about two dozen times with a shovel he found on Scully's deck and then hit him several more times with a large moose antler to, quote, finish him off. He got down on his knees and he put his hands up behind his, his, the back of his head and the deputies uh, went out and escorted him into our booking area. After booking him, Sheriff Eliason said they immediately called the BCA for assistance with the crime scene. Restraining orders were uh, were granted, and then uh, ultimately they were they were taken taken back again. Um, so yes, there there was always the that that friction was always present between the two of them. Authorities say Axel and Scully have known each other in the past. In April of 2018, Axel filed for an order of protection for two years against Scully, accusing him of stalking his then little girl at her daycare. The reason for the dismissal of the restraining order is unknown. In 1979, Scully was convicted in Canebec County for sexually assaulting a six-year-old girl, making him a registered sex offender. He was released in 1982. In the criminal complaint, Axel told authorities that he claimed to see Scully in a vehicle at locations where children were present. He believed he would re-offend. Basically, the confession that he gave immediately and, and all of the evidence matched up with the with, uh, what he was telling us. So there wasn't, I mean, there's some investigation as far as forensic evidence go, but as far as, you know, taking statements and try to piece things together, there wasn't a whole lot of that. The remainder of the case investigation and trial was passed over to the BCA and the county attorney.